Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy to have you here guys. So in today's video I want to review two fragrance oils from the house of Ibn Al Jaburi. Uh, they are a small family owned business located in Canada and basically they are specialized in selling fragrance oils. They have their original traditional Middle Eastern smelling fragrance oils. They have some inspirations of different niche fragrances, of different designer fragrances as well. And the owner of Ibn Al Jaburi, Mohammed, contacted me on Instagram and he basically asked me if I would like to test some of his fragrance oils and I was like of course so yes he sent me two fragrance oils guys I have here a fragrance oil called Abu Alamin uh, and I have another one called Amber Wood so yes guys before I start the video yes these two were sent to me uh, but this is not a sponsored video I am not paid to talk about them I just want to talk about them because they're amazing oils they are very affordable and I feel like a lot of you will enjoy these ones both of these are alcohol free and cruelty free now I want to start with the one that I have been using it the most lately which is called um, Abu Alamen Atar both of these are Atar so they have no alcohol in them now guys this this is one that uh, I have a feeling that a lot of you will love honestly uh, let me just show you how much I have used actually of this one this is a 6 ml now guys this one okay this one to put it in very simplistic words this is a much better much more realistic smelling much more luxurious smelling sugar fruit by Swiss Arabian so if you enjoy sweet wood if you enjoy wood mixed with praline and a bright red rose you will love this one for sure uh, now let me actually apply it on my hand okay so this one smells absolutely amazing it smells delicious even like I love it. I have been using it on its own. I've been using it on my skin, in my hair even. I will give you some tips when it comes to how to apply fragrance oil in your hair at the end of the video. So stay tuned till then. Uh, but yes, now how does this one smell on its own? Well, this one is a very rich, warm and dense, ambery, woody, praline, rose fragrance. Now I feel like this is more praline forward than rose forward, so if you're not the biggest fan of rose in fragrances, I don't think you will find the rose here bothering honestly, because it's more of a background note, I feel like it's not the main note you smell. Okay, so this one opens up very sweet, very rich, very thick, this is a very robust fragrance oil without being heavy. I feel like you could easily wear this one all year round, daytime, nighttime, on its own, layered in your hair, on your skin, on your clothes, without being too much. Now, um right when you apply this one it opens up very rich even like resiny balsamic like but you give it a few minutes and the praline starts to come out and i feel like the praline is the start of the show here honestly and what i like about the praline here guys it smells so realistic it legit smells like you take a box of praline you open the box you dip your nose in the box you smell it and this is the smell you get here it's very beautiful it's more of a sweet warm round praline uh that's very delicious and gourmand leaning it's not that like dark chocolatey patchouli-esque sort of uh, chocolate you know it's more of that like praline sort of chocolate this is the best way to put it uh, so you have that I feel like that is the start of the show in the background uh, you have here a very beautiful rich thick ambery accord that supports overall the fragrance and gives it a lot of thickness uh, like it makes it basically very robust and you also have some rose here in the background but i feel like the rose is definitely not the star of the show so like i've mentioned if you're not the biggest fan of rose i think you could still love this one because of the praline now you need to love sweet fragrances this is a very sweet very delicious a very yummy very gourmand leaning but still with something that makes it it gives it that extra something you know so you don't smell like straight up food you smell like you smell like herbal, delicious, but like powerful and sophisticated at the same time, which is something that I love. This is the vibe that I'm going for, you know? Now, as far as the oud goes here, uh, to me, at least to my nose, again, the oud is not the star of the show. Um, I feel like the oud is more of an oud feel than how actual oud smells like, you know? I feel like the oud gives here an overall density as well to the fragrance with the amber and everything, you know? But it's not the kind of oud that's bothering. It's not the kind of oud that, let's just say, it's like, it's not the kind of wood that's pungent, it's not the kind of wood that's barnyard, you know, it's not the medicinal sort of wood as well. I feel like the wood here, it's more of an wood feel that adds overall richness and density to the fragrance. Now, this one on its own, I have to say, is delicious. I feel like uh, Mohammed really, what's the expression in English? Like, okay, I don't know if I will say it correctly, so I'm not. But basically, he understood my taste in fragrances very well and he sent me two fragrance oils that when I tried them, guys, they were like, 
it's almost like they were made for me, you know, because they suit my taste and my style so much. I was so surprised by how realistic both of these two smell, especially this one. Like I said, the praline here, it legit smells like you dip your nose into a praline box, you know, when you smell them. Um, it doesn't smell sharp, it doesn't smell synthetic, it doesn't smell artificial. It smells like it's... Like I've said guys, it's a less artificial, better blended, smoother, richer Shagaf Oud without the artificial vibe of Shagaf Oud, um, which I personally do not mind, but I know some people told me they do. And without the woodiness, this is more round, this is more dense, this is heavier on the praline, it's overall richer and denser, you know, without any woodiness. So yes, again guys, this one is called um, Abu Alamein Atar. Uh, this is from their original series, by the way. I don't know if I've mentioned, but basically they offer Arabic fragrances and Western fragrance oils. They even offer like EDPs. You could take the same oil and turn it into an EDP, you know. Uh, but when it comes to uh, these scent DNAs, I would actually advise you to get them in oil version or in oil format. And let me tell you why. You have a lot of fragrances within the Oud Bouquet, Shaga Food, Rattle Oud. DNA, which is basically sweet oud mixed with a sweet praline and rose. But I feel like you don't have a lot of oils in this format. And this, I feel like it will be very versatile for layering purposes. Um, let's just say maybe you want to go out. Let's just say maybe you want everybody to smell your fragrance that night, no matter the occasion. You could apply this one on your skin. You could apply this one in your hair. You could even apply this one, which is another one of my favorite tips on your clothes guys apply it look like here on the scarf apply it on your blouse basically just put it in your palms you know this is how i do it uh, i put it in my palms i massage my palms a little bit and then i go everywhere and this will guarantee the scent will last for the whole day or night depends when you choose to use it um this is what i actually like to do when i'm going out i don't have body sprays in my collection because quite frankly i feel like a lot of them they just do not last on me uh i can apply them on my skin i can apply them on my clothes but let's just say maximum like two hours in i cannot smell them but when it comes to fragrance oils like they last they last way better than body sprays they last way better than some uh, fragrance like edp or the parfum fragrances you know they just last uh in my hair this won't last for days on my skin uh, i feel like it lasts for around five to six hours and then it gets to be an intimate fragrance but on my clothes again a full day for sure yes guys so those are my thoughts about abo Lamin. now let's move on to one called amber wood now i have to tell you this one i have used it but this is more of a particular taste you need to appreciate fragrances with a real middle eastern feel to them this is i would say for those who appreciate more arabic leaning fragrances this is not for those people who enjoy only designer fragrances this is not for those people who enjoy uh let's just say more of a western i take or like more of a westernized take on middle eastern fragrances you need to love true rich beautiful middle eastern fragrances to appreciate a fragrance like this but now if you do Again, guys, this fragrance took me by complete surprise. Now, this one, in terms of scent profile, I, uh, I would say it's a bit more challenging than the previous one. Uh, Abu Alamein, you could use it daytime, nighttime, as long as you love a sweet wood, this could be your easy reach. This one, on the other hand, you need to appreciate balsamic fragrances and you need to appreciate rose in balsamic mixes. Now, if you have been watching my videos for a while, you know I absolutely adore balsams and resins in my fragrances. I feel like they give the fragrance a lot of complexity, they give the fragrance a lot of depth, a lot of richness, and they overall make it stand out from the crowd, I would say, or like from the mass appealing fragrances, you know? Because uh, even though I enjoy some mass appealing fragrances, but I'm definitely more drawn and my taste is definitely for these sort of fragrances. Now, let me actually apply this one as well and tell you how it smells. Okay, so something that I feel like you should know about this fragrance. This fragrance took me and it might take you on a fragrance journey. This fragrance changes and it develops so beautifully. You apply this smells one way and then as you let this one develop on the skin, as you let the scent melt within your skin, it starts to change very beautifully. Uh, but this is on my skin. I have actually tested this fragrance on my partner's skin as well because I was very interested to see how um, the overall balsamic aspect would smell on his skin. And let me tell you, on his skin, it was even stronger, the balsamic aspect. So I feel like if you're a man and you love balsamic fragrances, this is one you should try. Basically, on my skin, it opens up way brighter and with a soft, clean undertone. But quickly, it morphs into this like beautiful, rich balsamic fragrance. And um, 
Now, when I smelled it for the first few times, it reminded me of a fragrance. But I looked at my collection and I just couldn't say what the fragrance was, but it was so familiar to me. And then it hit me, guys. It's a fragrance that um, it's in like my top 10 for life, for sure, top 15, because I have more than 10 fragrances for life. Uh, it's a fragrance that has been discontinued for the longest time. You cannot find it now. Or if you can, I feel like it's usually at like really high prices because this is what happens with fragrances that get discontinued. Now the fragrance is called Rose Calligraphy by Aran. If you have tried this fragrance, you will love Amber Oud for sure, guys. It's not a one-on-one -on -one inspiration of Calligraphy Rose, but I say it gives me a similar feel in the heart, especially. Uh, and on my partner, it smells much more similar from the opening till the dry down. I would say from the opening till the heart, because in the dry down, you start to get some different nuances. Uh, that Rose Calligraphy does not have them, but on me, in the heart, it smells like my beloved Rose Calligraphy. See, yes, um, right when I applied it, I was telling you about that clean undertone. Now it's like strictly a balsamic fragrance, but such a beautiful, rich, dense and luxurious balsamic fragrance. Okay, so you have here, guys, a very beautiful, very dense and very bright, rich pink roses. So they are very like youthful, but they are not the soft pink roses. They are more like the very rich in flavor or like rich in smell pink roses you have here a lot of them so it gives you this feeling like you're dipping your face into dozens of rose petals but the pink ones uh these sort of rose petals or these sort of rose petals and then you have something here that gives it this like spicy hot but it's like a fiery sort of spicy aspect to the scent i'm guessing it's the saffron because calligraphy rose has saffron as well and it gives me the exact same feeling it gives an overall spiciness but it's not like a not a sweet sort of spices not like dessert sort of spices uh not like aromatic living spices more more like spices that give you a warming up sensation like a hot like yeah hot fiery sort of sensation you know here you have it as well which i find is very beautiful and then this all this is supported by i would say a rich balsamic accord i smell more guys i smell more um, more and maybe like a dash of lab denim here but what I find it very beautiful about this one is the fact that it has this um, like imagine you take a resin and you put it to to smoke or to burn you know it has this like soft warm burn touch to it or like fume like smoked touch to it not a burn yeah now this one is called amber wood guys but I feel like a rose is definitely the style of the show you need to like rose you not like you need to love rose but if you're a rose lover and if you like rose in balsamic mixes with a little bit of spiciness going on I think you will really enjoy this fragrance now I would say this fragrance you will like it if you like let's say Uda Flot by Swiss Arabian uh, Santal Royal by Guerlain Arijal Sheila by Swiss Arabian yeah or of course calligraphy rose if you have tried calligraphy rose and you know that you like it this fragrance you will love it um i would say the calligraphy rose is even slightly even more balsamic it has like more of a uh, what is the word i'm looking for hold on um diversity when it comes to the resinous balsamic touch here it's not as diverse as in that one but it's still as beautiful i feel like the magic with this one is when you let's just say that maybe you one day you decide to wear your heavy roses your heavy woods your oriental fragrances your oriental like your middle eastern leaning fragrances this is the oil you would use in your hair i would say uh at least this is the oil that i would use in my hair it just it works so well with all these other fragrances within the same scent family or within with the same nuances i would say so yes guys those are my thoughts about these two fragrances uh, i could definitely give you an update as i'm trying more layering combos perhaps i could even give you some ideas uh, as to what to layer with these two oils like i said i would advise you if you're interested in getting these two oils get the oil format because it's much more versatile to have it in your collection as an oil format you could use it on its own you could use it layer on your clothes in your hair basically everywhere so yes again thank you so much Mohammed, for sending me these two very beautiful fragrances you really match my taste or like you felt i would enjoy this one. Oh, and by the way guys if you are interested in trying out any fragrances from ibn al jaburi uh, Mohammed was kind enough to provide my viewers with a discount code which is afg20 and that will give you 20 percent off at checkout
out. Uh, if you're interested in trying out any of these fragrances uh, or even other creations, for instance, he has inspirations of Madawi, of Baccarat Rouge, of Oud Satin Mood, or even other unique original creations uh, of Ibn al Djibouti, definitely write him on Instagram. He's very passionate about fragrances. He knows a lot about fragrances. Uh, I loved chatting with him about fragrances. Um, and he will definitely help you there. Don't forget you can follow me here on Instagram, this is my handle. Uh, if you have any questions in regards to these two fragrances, let me know. If you have tried any fragrances from Ibn al Djibouti, again, let me know down below and I will be more than happy to reply to you. So yes, thank you so much for watching guys and I want to wish you an amazing day wherever you are. Bye!